Comprehend that in the journey of experiencing social anxiety, you are far from being alone. It is essential to realize that it is nothing unusual and quite a universal human experience. The first crucial step you must take is to acknowledge your feelings. This step underlines the importance of self-awareness. You must acknowledge what you are feeling without any hasty judgment or criticism. Rather than brushing off your feelings or attempting to shove them under the rug, recognize them for what they are. Then, once you've identified these emotions, introduce deep breathing exercises into your routine. Such exercises can be your anchor, allowing you to remain present in the moment while also giving you a sense of control. When the waves of anxiety start to roll in, deep breathing can help you maintain a sense of calm and peace. It can serve as your personal sanctuary, providing you a safe space amid the chaos. Throughout this journey, one of the significant things to remember is to challenge negative thoughts that have the potential to fuel your anxiety. Negative thoughts can often seem overpowering, dictating your mood and actions, but remember that they only hold as much power as you give them. It's about questioning these thoughts, recognizing their irrationality, and slowly replacing them with more positive, rational ones. In the end, remember that you have the strength within you to overcome any hurdle, including social anxiety. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, and the first step in this journey is understanding that you're not alone in experiencing social anxiety. Challenge negative thoughts that fuel your anxiety. Set realistic goals for yourself in social situations. This could be as simple as setting a goal to say hello to one new person each day, or as complex as aiming to attend a large social gathering without feeling overwhelmed. It's important to start with bite-sized, achievable objectives ones that are challenging yet not impossible to achieve. If the idea of attending a large party sends you into panic, begin by stepping into smaller social gatherings. You might start with having lunch with a close friend, then gradually extending your circle to include a few more friends. With each successful engagement, your confidence will grow enabling you to handle larger gatherings. It's not about leaping out of your comfort zone right away, but rather about gradually extending its boundaries. Challenge yourself, but remember to respect your limits. The key is not to rush. Slow and steady is the game here. Allow yourself to gradually become accustomed to the situations that cause you discomfort. It's equally vital to focus on the present moment rather than worrying about the future. Your mind has a tendency to drift towards what might happen in the future, but it's important to ground yourself in the now. Attend social gatherings with an open mind and try to enjoy each moment as it comes, instead of fretting over what may come next. Stay present, stay focused, and remember to celebrate your small victories. Each step you take in your journey towards overcoming social anxiety is a big win. Pat yourself on the back for each goal you achieve, as each one brings you one step closer to becoming the social butterfly you aspire to be. Focus on the present moment rather than worrying about the future. Practice mindfulness techniques to stay grounded. This is an essential first step. By practicing mindfulness, you train your mind to be present and to cultivate awareness in the here and now. Although it is not an instantaneous remedy, 
With consistent practice, it can help you manage your social anxiety by mitigating your of the unknown and the uncontrollable. Mindfulness techniques can be as simple as focusing on your breath, or they can be more elaborate, like practicing yoga or meditation. These activities can help you improve your feelings of self-worth and calm your worries about what others think of you. They can enable you to face situations without fear, seek support from friends, family, or a therapist. Having a support network around you is vital when dealing with social anxiety. Friends and family members can help you feel understood and less isolated. They can provide you with a secure base from which you can venture out into social situations. Additionally, a professional therapist can equip you with coping strategies and tools to manage your anxiety. Remember that social skills can be learned and improved over time. This is an important reminder. Just like any other skill, social skills need to be practiced and honed. You can start with small steps like striking up a conversation with a barista or attending a small gathering. In time, your confidence will grow and your social anxiety will diminish. Accept that it's okay to feel nervous in social situations. No one is perfect, and everyone has experienced nervousness at one point or another. It's perfectly normal to feel this way. Embrace your emotions, and don't let them discourage you from stepping out of your comfort zone. Celebrate small victories even if they seem insignificant. Every step you take towards overcoming your social anxiety is a big deal. If we're able to ask your colleague how their weekend was, pat yourself on the back. Your progress might seem slow, but remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. Learn relaxation techniques such as progressive muscle relaxation. These techniques can help you manage your stress levels and keep your anxiety at bay. Progressive muscle relaxation in particular is known for its ability to reduce anxiety and tension by helping individuals their muscles. Finally, visualize yourself succeeding in social situations. Picture this. You're at a party, comfortably mingling with others, and enjoying the conversations. This mental rehearsal can significantly boost your confidence, allowing you to handle social situations better and gradually overcome your social anxiety. Challenge yourself to initiate conversations with new people. This is not a simple task, especially if you're introverted or shy. However, every great journey starts with a single step. To feel comfortable while encountering strangers, start with small talks about shared interests or experiences. It's a wonderful way to expand your network and learn from others' experiences. Remember, every person has a story to tell, which can enrich your life and perspectives. Then, to set boundaries to protect your mental and emotional well-being. You need to understand that setting boundaries is not about isolating yourself from the world, but rather keeping your inner peace intact. It's about creating a balance between social interactions and your own personal space. Always remember it's okay to say no when you need to. You are not obliged to please everyone, and it's important to prioritize your own well-being. Next, never underestimate the power taking a break is not a sign of weakness, but a recognition of the human need for rest. When you start feeling overwhelmed, pause for a while, breathe and rejuvenate. A short walk, meditation or simply listening to soothing music can help you recharge and refocus. Moreover, it's vital to find activities or hobbies that bring you joy and build your confidence. Whether it's painting, gardening, hiking, or playing an instrument, hobbies are an excellent escape from routine life. 
They act as a stress buster and confidence booster. They allow you to express yourself freely, ignite your creativity, and make you feel accomplished. Finally, it's imperative to practice assertiveness skills to communicate your needs effectively. Assertiveness is not about being aggressive or confrontational, but standing up for your rights in a respectful manner. It's about expressing your thoughts and feelings openly and honestly violating the rights of others. It takes courage and self-awareness to be assertive. However, the more you practice, the more natural it becomes. Remember, your voice is important, and it deserves to be heard. Challenge yourself to initiate conversations with new people. Set boundaries to protect your mental and emotional well-being. Take breaks when you start feeling overwhelmed. Find activities or hobbies that bring you joy and build your confidence. Practice assertiveness skills to communicate your needs effectively. Avoid comparing yourself to others. Everyone has their own struggles. Focus on your strengths and what you have to offer in social interactions. Surround yourself with supportive and understanding individuals. Engage in positive self-talk to boost your self-esteem. Remember that social anxiety doesn't define your worth as a person. Challenge the idea of perfection and embrace your imperfections. Use humor to lighten the mood in social situations. Prepare conversation topics or questions in advance. Attend social events with a friend or acquaintance for support. Volunteer or join groups where you can meet like-minded individuals. Take small steps outside your comfort zone each day. Practice relaxation techniques before entering challenging social situations. Set realistic expectations for yourself and others. Focus on the process of socializing rather than the outcome. Learn to recognize and challenge cognitive distortions related to social anxiety. Use positive affirmations to reinforce your strengths and capabilities. Reflect on past successes to remind yourself of your resilience. Reward yourself for facing your fears no matter how small the steps. Seek professional help if social anxiety significantly impacts your daily life. Experiment with different coping strategies to find what works best for you. Practice active listening skills to enhance your social interactions. Remember that everyone